Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove Windows 7 uh, Home Security. Now, Windows 7 Home Security is a fake application designed to steal your private data. It convinces you into, that you have lots of viruses, but these were never real. To remove it, you need to open up your task manager and go to the Applications tab. Select Win 7 Home Security, right click and click Go to Process. Now, right click that process and click and Oh, great. Now, click and Oh, God. Hold on. And process tree, okay? Now that's gone. You want to go to start. Type in here AI Explorer. Dot exe, and click the icon. Now, as you can see, when Seven Home Security messages will continue unprotected. And now you'll have to get access to Arkill. Go to Google, type in Arkill. Yeah, well, now if this happens, sometimes it doesn't happen, sometimes it happens, we will have to actually get rid of the original file first and then proceed to getting a software to remove it. So, we will open it up and do this step again. And the process tree. Oh. But before ending the process string, we will open the file location. Now, as you can see, the AIL file doesn't show up because it's hidden. To unhide it, we will go to Start, Computer. Uh, from there, we will go to Folder Options if we can do it. We will open the Control Panel, sorry. I'm just a little messed up. And we'll view small icons. And uh, I need to find folder options here. Folder options. Sort of folder options, there we go. And click in the view tab, and I hear it says hidden files and folders. Under that, don't show hidden files and folders is selected, but we will we are going to select so apply. And now we are gonna scroll down. And here it says hide protected operating system files. We're going to disable that. Click apply. Okay, close that window. And now here you can see AIL. Now I'm going to oh God. And the process stream really quick and delete that file. Yes. Then I'm going to delete it from the recycle bin. Now the executable has been deleted and we need to get access to the internet. So we'll go computer, local disk, program files, internet explorer and launch internet explorer from the and use internet explorer. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird. What the Oh, it doesn't let you run an executable, so what you want to do is right click and click start. It will have a. Yeah, you know, there are different variants, and you know, sometimes it's different for you, it's different for me. So I'm just trying to search as much as possible. Now you need to navigate to www.malwarebytes.org, which is a free anti malware application to get rid of the leftovers of the rog end that entry in the registry which is not letting me launch executables and I'll have to right click and start. Now you'll go to products and tr choose a free version of malware bytes anti-malware. Now uh, if a uh, message like this appears continue to this website it's okay it's internet explorer thingy. Now that you're here Wait for it. Uh, you might be late to a different site, so I'll have to find the download button.
probably it's that one. Okay, yep. So now it's now um, a gold bar usually appears on the top of the page. You have to click it and click download file. Except you're using an unless you're using an other browser. But I would not I would not recommend using an other browser in the case of an infection. Now save that file to your desktop. You can close the other Internet Explorer window. Basically, that fake antivirus has a registry entry and file permissions, and it's not allowing any executable to run. While it, and it's blocking, and it has another entry that launches itself when every executable is run. So it'll say, "Hey." You're infected to trick you. So now we have to save the phone, right click, start, not open, start. It's very tricky. Run that. Click yes, not prompt. Choose your language, I'll go with English. Next. Accept the agreement. Install the program. Now make sure you uncheck those because of the infection. Now on your on your desk you discover shortcut, right click and click start. Click yes. Click yes to update the database. Click OK. This line you don't want to get the trial. You don't need it basically. Now go to the update tab and check for updates again to make sure you have the latest database version. Now on the scanner tab, you will sell you will need to select perform full scan. Click scan. Select all your drives, except your floppy drives and CD drives, like the C one, like the DND one here. I have only selected C. And then malware by selection from default usually. Click scan. And then wait until it finishes. I'll come back after it finishes. And so here the results. Malware bytes will detect anything that's left over along with uh, malicious registry configuration. And well, I'll just come back. Oh, forget to show you board the scan here. Really sorry guys. Just we forgot to do something good. Settings. Uh, select terminated threat explorer during threat removal. Then go to the scanner settings. Action for peer to peer software. Do not say. Now, here says action for potentially unwanted programs. Do select so in results list and check for removal. Um, yeah. Nothing else really. Just that. <laughs> Now we will perform the full scan and I'll come back. Okay, my robots finished the scan and found five infected objects. I'm gonna click the results. Um, we got two files. A DLL dropped in system thirty two and a temporary internet file. Your infections might be different. We have we got the hijack for the exe file that I told you. The star menu internet. So 
that when you click in the internet link it doesn't actually open internet explorer and an open a broken open command that for the start thing so we're going to click remove selected after we have selected everything the program selects it for us but we'll have to be sure uh, so now it's removing now it asks us for reboot we're not going to reboot yet we're gonna exit now we are going to first of all remove the I gotta get the control panel and basically hide the important files again first of all there we go okay and now usually this type of software comes bundled with a rootkit and rootkits can go redirect or dangerous <laughs> Yep, you better not have one. So we'll go to Google and we'll download a, an anti rootkit. An anti rootkit scanner, probably the best of them. You want to search for T M E R. T M E R. Click the first link. Go to screenshot. Download the EXE. It comes with randomly named one. So. Malware writers cannot cannot stop it running. Double click it. Click yes. There we go. Now wait until it does sync. Now you want to select all these and click scan. It will display some items here, but only the red ones are dangerous. So far, we do, we don't have anything red which is good but just so I know just to make this sort I am going to pause the video and bear back just to show you here uh, GMR has lots of other tabs but yeah we can want to be focused in rootkit slash malware. That's what we are interested in. Mainly because this will show you all active process, this will, all the active models, the services. Uh, it's a file browser. We can delete file, copy it. That's a register browser. Now that's what we are interested in. It's a scanner. Uh, that's a startup monitor, I guess. Oh, scan. Yep. Start a monitor um, CMD thingy. Um, now we're interested in this scanner here, which is still analyzing my full computer for rootkit activity. Now, this is probably the best rootkit scanner out there that's free and works like a charm, I can say. Um, you might want to use rootkit filler or something like that um, I would never ever use uh, combo fix because it's a Windows 7 machine um, yeah DMR is all the best for me all around it's just yeah okay I'm gonna post the video now and come back with the scan results okay my result came up clear but if you had a rootkit you had to right click, disable it, then restart, rescan, and then right click and delete it. That, it's boring, but yeah. Now that we have finished, I can say that the computer is clean. And yeah, so all we need now is to restart. And we are done. Thank you for watching.